know, as, as far as the art being urban, I guess, I've, I've been kind of stuck in between that. Uh, but I've never really viewed it as my work as, as being just that. Um, and and I, I think it comes down to the point of the fact I work in so many different mediums. I don't just work with spray paint or paint pens or sumi ink. Um, you know, I also do traditional illustration. I'm also a photographer, which helps. Uh, that, that's something when it comes to uh, it getting a, a mental block. I'll get stuck on one medium and I feel burnt out. I just jump to something else. I'll just jump to working on some illustration or photography because then I have to work in different disciplines. So my mind works a little differently. And I find myself, I'll, I'll come back to it using that same discipline I was using in the last medium and get past that block. So it, it helps me from being in a, in a complete rut where I'm doing nothing and, you know, moping, saying I can't make anything because I'm stuck. I'm in a, you know, I'm in a block. Feel sorry for me. I, I just move on to the next thing. My time is limited, and there's so many you know things I have to do and to get done for these shows, and uh, also, you know, I learn so much more by doing that because I'll come back, you know, with a fresh mindset, with with a different view. Like I'll, I'll work on a painting, get stuck, leave. I'll go and do some shoots, and I'll look at the composition I'm putting together in my painting and look at it as as one of my photographs. A lot of times I'll solve it right there. I'll see what's wrong with the composition. I'll be able to fix it. Uh, sometimes, same thing with photography. I'll look at something where I'm like, this is a boring shot. This is not working out. And then I'll look at, well, what if, you know, I kind of add a little bit of paint here and there. So it, 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 it's something I've been kind of blessed to find myself uh, with a, an ability to uh, not be doing a bunch of things at once. I always have to be doing that, so... It's, it's been a blessing, I guess. So, I work with a lot of different mediums, um, as I mentioned, uh, jumping to and from. Now, one of the last ones I did for uh, the flyer for my solo show, and originally it was supposed to be for a photo shoot as well to coincide with my show, was to have a bunch of hypodermic needles filled with glitter. Now, the one thing I found out is to get these needles, uh, you have to be technically diabetic, which I'm not. I did not know this until I tried to score these. Now, I'm not telling you to do this so you can, you know, scam needles. Don't do that. Um, however, it turns out, you have to have a prescription for these. Now, if you talk to these fine young people that work at uh, Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, you can explain to them your situation, what you need it for, and finagle a little bit. Use your gift of gab, and you can score yourself some hypodermic needles so you too can fill them with glitter, chocolate, whatever you need for a photo shoot, or to decorate your house if you're into that. Um, and that was just one of the many things I work with. Uh, I tend to mix mediums. I mean, using medical equipment and glitter for the juxtaposition of glamour, for one. That was uh, my last solo show, was uh, a show based on glamour. And, some of it's uh, positive and uh, some of it's detrimental effects. Um, and I thought this was a great juxtaposition because you have here medical, uh, could be insinuating drug use or, uh, of course, medicinal help such as uh, insulin. And throw in some glitter because glitter is just awesome and quite glamorous. My current work's been changing a lot. Um, now you're talking about dealing with Hollywood and stuff. Actually, when I first started doing my work, it was much more intense about that. Um, I mean, for the longest time, my work was really more intensely focused on a lot of specific pieces, dealing with the detriments of image beauty. Because, um, I mean, myself, I've, uh, you know, I've struggled. I've been, you know, an idiot, and, you know, I felt the need to achieve that. I mean, this is one of the biggest reasons why I critique stuff, is because I myself have fallen for them. I mean, I'm not a hypocrite to say, oh, you know, this sucks, you shouldn't do it. It's like, uh, I go against the idea of, an, of having an ideal image beauty because I succumbed to it uh, for a while. I mean, for over 14 years, I was bulimic, and, you know, I've been anorexic. I don't look it now, um, but, you know, I, I have permanent damage because of it. Um, so I know exactly what it's like with it, you know, have the insecurity and, and the self-loathing and, you know, the physical pains that are involved with trying to force yourself in, in, into some other mold. 
and it, what bothers me too it's like you bring it up and being a male it's something that's so dismissed it's it's like haha well that was stupid you're stupid uh, you know I was stupid yes um, but I, I mean that it's so quickly dismissed and uh, as a tri tri trivial thing it, it really you know, is unfortunate that there are people who are simple minded like that because um, it does affect all sexes it's not just women I mean unfortunately women have been more you know affected by it in the, in, as far as the masses go but you know it does happen to both people so a lot of my work has dealt with that specifically um, and I've, I've been growing a lot so I haven't necessarily always made that my focus because I don't want to be just doing one thing you know it's just not who I am um, with, with this piece in fact my solo show the original idea for Glamour's a Rocky Road which da, 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 that show okay. Oh, you're gonna zoom it. You get it? Actually, I have to tone it. <laughs> or maybe I get 3D. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna put the card now. So the original concept for that show originally was gonna be all about the detrimental effects of of glamour, the idea of being beautiful, of being famous, of being um, just really you know being who who you want to be by any means necessary and I was like well that's fine but I do so many pieces like that already and I got bored of it and I, and I also just didn't want it to be a negative connotation to say glamour can be terrible and I, I want to flip it and think well you know glamour is something that is self-perceived doesn't necessarily have to mean you know fame or being skinny so I also you know put in pieces where I wanted people were their their own sense of uh, achievements and success so I had women that were you know uh, bigger but they were confident and you know beautiful and I want to emphasize that say yeah you know what you don't have to be stick thin you can be big you know you can be thick you can be you know heavy but you're still beautiful and own that um, then I also you know touched on a few pieces with uh, I didn't get to fully achieve the concept with doing transgender pieces, but I did one. It was kind of a tribute to um, Divine, uh, who used to work with John Waters, and I loved Divine. I, I thought she or, or he um, was great, and so I wanted to like this little loving tribute to the piece. Say, you know what? You owned it. You you were amazing, and you know having friends that are also transgender, you know that are male and female. You know, I accept them as their adoptive sex, and I thought that was amazing. I, I kind of want to pay tribute to that success, and so you know what, that is glamorous. Um, you are who you are. So I did have some, you know, pieces mixed in that were a lot more positive, and I did touch up on, you know, one of the pieces. In fact, dealt specifically with the bulimia, but I, I kind of wanted to put a, a fun spin on it. So I put my mascot, which is the little oni, which are little ogres. Uh, you see a lot of paintings I do with that. It's kind of like as a branding thing for me, I suppose. Um, and it was a piece that was comprised of all um, foreign texts from different books. You had Sanskrit, Thai, uh, Korean, Russian, uh, and Chinese all in it as the background of it. And you have the bony uh, just making himself vomit. And of course, it's spewing nothing but glitter because I, I thought it'd be a great way to bind it. And I did, that was something I did want to touch up, at least on, on the show, but I wanted to have it not so disgusting. I mean, it had to be disgusting, but it also had to be kind of beautiful at the same time. So I decided to make it uh, just full of glitter, you know, so um, that piece was called The Global Diet. I just thought, well, what better way? I got the best piece! <laughs> <laughs> I know, see?